So over the past couple months, we've seen a lot of crackdown when it comes to streaming and this particularly targets those illegal streaming platforms. So if you guys uh, used to use Kodi, you can see that's kind of on the back burner. Not only are the ISPs cracking down, but also uh, YouTube and other social media platforms are cracking down. Uh, but this one, this new development is pretty significant, guys. The US court orders that every ISP in the United States are to block illegal streaming sites and any sites in the future that could be created and or detected to conduct illegal streaming activities. So in this video, we're gonna quickly go over the article, let you know what my thoughts on the situation is, and I'll put something in the community section to see what your thoughts are on this new development. So before we jump into it, hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell, let's go. So first of all, happy Mother's Day to everyone. Sorry to be bringing bad news <laughs> um, to all the mothers out there, but uh, this one is pretty significant, guys. This is from the Torrent Freak website. I'll link it, like I said in the intro. Title of this one, US Court to Order Every ISP in the United States to Block illegal streaming sites and this is already happening uh so let's go ahead and read on so more than a decade after u.s lawmakers scuttles the controversial sopa legislation that would have required isps to block pirate sites a u.s court has demonstrated that the ability to block sites has been available all along. Injunctions issued in the response to the lawsuit against three pirate streaming services require every ISP in the United States to prevent subscribers from accessing them. And further down, we'll go into some of the ISPs as well as what the banner looks like when you try to access that site. Earlier this year, producer and cinema investor Moshi Elderly, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that one, uh, fired one and shot across the bows of MasterCard, Visa, and American Express for continuing to provide payment processing to pirate streaming sites. Elderly, the co-founder of uh, Screen IL, an international TV streaming platform aimed at Israeli living abroad, said the companies must be aware that the pirate sites are involved in criminal copyright infringement and money laundering. The suggestion was that by continuing to do business with them, the payment companies should also expect legal actions against them. So basically saying, hey Visa, MasterCard, you know what the heck's going on, let's not process these payments, but Visa, they're collecting fees so they don't care uh, for the most part. Now while that would be a first in anti-piracy enforcement, several elder related companies have just won three separate copyright lawsuits in the United States. The judgments and injunctions only break new ground in the United States, but might also represent one of the most significant anti-piracy wins of the century. Now let's go ahead and read on. So last year, companies including United Film Distribution, DBS Satellite Services, and Hot Communication filed three copyright infringement lawsuits in the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York. Each complaint targeted a specific pirated streaming site, uh, Israeli, Dash TV.com, Israeli.tv, and SDROT.tv. The latter being Israeli's most popular pirate streaming site with millions of visitors each month. At least in the broad terms, the lawsuit were relatively unremarkable. They followed traditional lines by demanding $150,000 in statutory damages for every copyright work infringed and an injunction to prevent infringement moving forward. From the beginning, it seemed highly unlikely that the operators of the sites would turn up in court to defend themselves, meaning that a win for the plaintiffs. So late last week, the plaintiffs won all three lawsuits via default judgment. So long story short, they never showed up in court, uh, thus kind of um, handing the win to, to the complainant. The court ordered the operators of Israeli-TV.com, Israeli.TV, and SDROT.TV to pay 7.6 million in statutory copyright infringement damages related to 51 registered works owed by the plaintiff. While among the $23 million in damage isn't an inconsiderable amount, the injunction and the doubt in all three cases are something never seen before in TV slash movie piracy case. So huge amount of sums, uh, 23 million dollars guys that's that's a lot of scratch 
So we're gonna get into how this affects uh, our ISP and that order of them um, being forced to block these websites. Permanent injunction break new ground in the US. In all three judgment, the defendants are enjoined and restrained from infringing the plaintiff's right, including by streaming, distributing, and otherwise making any of their copyright works available to the public. They also ban the operating of their websites from existing domains or any other they might use in the future. Block their website and also I guess they're monitoring certain folks, accounts, whatever. So if they try to uh, come up or start a new website, that will automatically be banned. So here's the word in all ISPs and any other ISPs providing services in the United States shall block access to website at any domain address known today or to be used in the future by defendants by any technological means available on the ISP system. So attached to the judgment is a list of US-based internet service providers that require to not only block domains currently used by the pirate sites, but any they might use in the future. The first page of a list of ISP is shown below, but there are nine pages in total covering almost 100 residential ISPs. So if you guys think of the big ones, um, those are probably gonna be on the first page of the list of T-Mobile's, AT&T, Xfinity, um, HughesNet. So this is page one of nine pages totaling over a hundred ISP. So if you think of your ISP, it's probably on that list guys. And if they're not on the list, they still are bound by this order. So the injunction also clarified that the list is non-exhaustive, uh, meaning that the orders also apply to all other ISPs providing services in the United States. All right, so here's the first 10. And just to um, give you guys an idea of what that blocked website looks like, if you click on that, this is the, what it shows. This website is no longer available due to copyright infringement. So that's what you're gonna see if you try to access your favorite illegal streaming <laughs> uh, websites. So I am gonna leave the, the link to the article where you guys can go ahead and check it out. But for me, um, this is something that we really saw coming and uh, it's not gonna let up. So for the most part, you can either go legit as a lot of people are, uh, or you can use a VPN and see how much that works out for you. As always, I do have my two um, trusted VPN links in the description, but uh, in the long means, guys, it's only a matter of time before those might um, be detected as well. So uh, in the community section, let me know what you guys think of the new development. Go ahead and vote. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.